Okay, so for this video, we're going to actually talk about your inputs and outputs in Ableton. So if you're using a like a split cable that's going from eighth inch to quarter inch, um, what you'll do is you'll basically you'll just plug that into your headphone jack, um, and it should just work just straight out the uh, out the gate there. Um, so, but we, what you'll have to do is probably just pan this. So if you have a Q, you want to pan it over to one side and a click you make sure those are on the same side and so that'll send to a separate direct box um, than your actual loop or what you can always do you can keep everything in the center and then just send external out one for your like your click you'd have to figure out which one's going to your direct box and such and then two for your loop just keep all your cues and your clicks in the same. If you do that, you'll actually have to come over here and click Q out, change that to one as well. Okay, so as far as a an interface is concerned and multiple outs, what you'll have to do is typically you'll use a, a like an audio interface such as like an inbox or I'm using a Kai IE I Pro, um, which has four outputs on it. So what you'll what you'll do here is you'll do command comma or just go to file and then uh, or live preferences change your audio output device to this uh, whichever one is your interface mine happens to pop up in two places here so and you'll double check everything with output configuration so you can you have the option here to send it all out just stereo or send them all out as individual channels, which is what we're going to do here. Okay, so I have a track pulled up for I'm Not Ashamed by Free Chapel. And what you'll do is kind of like what we did earlier where you send the click and the cue out to, you know, it's on channel for the, you know, for your in-ears and things like that. What, we'll do, what we want to do is I want to actually send four signals since I have four outputs on my interface. Um, so I'm going to send my guitars out here to three, my keys and organs and all of that, that stuff out to four. And then I'll keep my percussion in two. And what that allows is you have four signals now, so the sound guy is actually able to mix these guitars as a guitar player or as a guitar channel in their soundboard. Um, all of my keys, organ, and all that stuff is in one single channel. Instead of trying to mix from your computer yourself or, you know, trying to send the, send the sound guy one signal and him trying to kind of just make the best of it. Um, this way he gets four different mixes. And some interfaces will even let you go up to, to eight channels or even 10 so and you can get as creative as you want with that or as many channels as you have available uh, for that um, you know and you can keep in mind you can still you still have to use your cue out if you want to use the internal click you'll you you want to send this to wherever your um, your clicks are going out to the front of the house so basically what this allows is I have eight different channels coming out of the Behringer direct box and then the interface that I'm about to this week sometime put into my my rack here uh, allows me to have eight outputs. So what I'm actually going to do is send out eight signals. Right now I'm sending four, uh, which is just guitar and keyboard like we, we talked about earlier. As far as inputs are concerned, um, it's really pretty simple. Um, you want to do external in as opposed to ex external out like we did earlier. So my mic is obviously in channel one here. Um, you can arm and do multiple channels at one time. Um, however, I'm just using one mic right now. Um, also, if you were recording to multiple tracks at a time, maybe if you're tracking drums or something like that, you can hold command and click these red record buttons. And whichever red record button is on, that's the channel that's live and that's actually going to record when you hit this record button. Um, so you just always want to make sure at least one of these are on. 
Okay, I hope that helps you with your ins and outs for Ableton and helps you kind of understand a little bit better as far as how do you get your signal out.